So, hello, my name is Carlos Crespo. I'm part of the Intelligence System Group at UPM and I'm gonna show you the episteme tool on how it works. So, let's see. First of all, what episteme is. You know, episteme is a tool for a runs a partnership between companies to get an opportunity. Mm, this is what we see at the very first. We can, let's put it in English, we can select an opportunity or create an opportunity. Also we have uh, some help that we can read. So let's select an opportunity, for example this one with the blue bird. And that's what we see. This opportunity needs two companies to fill it. The first of all needs a, a company with these specific skills, you know, an expert level on the first one and an intermediate level at the second one. And for this, one advanced level, an expert level for annotación multimedia automática. You know, so let's pick two random enterprises, for example, this institute. Um, it automatically automatically changes with the companies that fill in the second gap. Let's pick, for example, this one. So our partnership is complete, but we want something else. For example, we can we can search by name. We want, for example, Hesfor. So we have here the Hesfor group. We put it there. And let's quit this searching. And we can filter by province or by type. Let's see. I want for the second app a company that is from Santa Cruz de Tenerife. So here it is, the Institute Insular. We can put it there. And this is multi matching. You know, you can need a company that is from Santa Cruz de Tenerife or from Segovia. So we have this two from Valencia also, we want it. And we can also filter in by type. So we only want one association, one great enterprise. Let's with this. So, a uh, great enterprise, for example. Okay. And also, we have the semantic matching tool. Let's take this. And if we click on the gap, the companies are automatic ordered by what is the best company for this gap. We have this who has the gold medal that is the best matching, the second best matching, the three best matching, and so on, until they begin to disappear. So let's put which is the best that fill that gap. And the second gap, the best choice is Novasoft. So, okay. And our partnership is finalized. So we have the data of the partnership. What have we chosen? This is Iberia for this gap and also for these other gaps. And we can do a lot of things here. We can send an expression of interest, we can combine a conference call or combine a meeting. Or if we're not happy with our uh, partnership, we can check it. We can change, change this. So that's all. So let's take a look at the architecture of our system. So it's pretty simple. We have a user that goes to the Episteme web page and the Episteme web service uh, is connected with a semantic matching module with each also connected to the LinkedIn Media Framework that is our database. By the way, uh, LMF is gonna change his name to Apache Linda 
and it's our database that supports SparkQL queries, uh, something like uh, I am, I, it's an RDF uh, database, and a lot of things. You know, uh, so epistemic get the data from the uh, the database, or where when we choose the semantic matching option, this uh, asks for the semantic matching module, that, and this module gets the data from the linked media framework. You know, linked media framework, um, as I said before, is our database. But how do we get the data? These are the sources that is in us that is a database for enterprises uh, that software and service and so on and Bulka that is a bigger database that, uh, that has a that has a lot of those companies and the way we have get these companies is being by scrapping and putting them in a inside an ontology and we have take an ontology called Echos it is an ontology made for enterprise and after the scrapping they all they are all inside the linked media framework that is our database and we ask to this database so <clears throat> on the other side if you want to create an opportunity and and look for partners we click in create the opportunity this is our wizard. So let's do it step by step. An offer name. It's a great offer. An offer logo. We have some logos here, but that's only an example. An example, I like this one. Offer description. It's a really great opportunity opportunity so let's click next and we get an error okay that's true that's because our database it's a bit annoying the details who is the contractor we are the SAE group a budget for example 4.000 euros location in Madrid in a date we can select it from the date picker let's start the 1 of January and let's send by the 31 of August end of summer next and this is um, our company's requirement this only represent one company gap and we can put what requirements or what skills do we need from the enterprise? We have here a lot of skills, for example, seguridad patrimonial, we need an advanced level, another one, tratamiento de lenguaje natural. So we click in the tick and we need another company. Let's see, this only needs one skill, for example, define a compartimento at only at intermediate level. We click here, and that's all. We have a summary of our offer, and if we click finish, and click OK, this is created, you know, it's here, so let's click in there. This half are uh, the skills we have uh, said uh, a moment before. So we have the advanced, the tratamiento at level expert, and this only half is intermediate level. Let's fill it and let's finish it. So that's all. Thank you for listening.